Guacamole, meantime, it turns out. Avocados expected to be a big snack staple for Sunday's big game. And just in time, Mexico sending a record 70 million pounds of avocados to the U.S. ahead of the Super Bowl in just one week. Jane Wells is out in an avocado grove in Somis, California, with more on the guacamole glut. Jane. Yes, Morgan, we have a guac glut. Now, most American avocados are grown here in Southern California, but most avocados that Americans eat are from Mexico. And there was a concern that we'd have an avocado crisis going into the Super Bowl because of gasoline shortages in Mexico. Fake news. In fact, avocados from Mexico plan to have another Super Bowl ad. Welcome to the dog show where humans compete for the ultimate prize, avocados from Mexico. Four out of five avocados in the U.S. come from south of the border, and a record two billion pounds were imported over the last year. That's driving down prices for everyone. I saw two for a dollar, and that's impacting American growers like Craig Underwood. In the last two weeks, uh, uh, Mexico shipped about 140 million pounds of avocados, which is roughly the equivalent of the whole California crop that they've shipped in two weeks. So in the crazy world of global trade, with the domestic market dominated by Mexico, California growers are now asking the Trump administration to open up the American market in, wait for it, China. We are confident that at some point uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture will get us the access that we've been working on so long. We know from the China side of it, uh, I've been there to China and talked to their government folks, and uh, they don't see any, any reason why the access shouldn't be granted. So, continue enjoying those low prices. However, Calavo growers here in Southern California reported a surprising loss in the fourth quarter because in part of low avocado prices. So maybe buy the dip. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> oh, we love it when you eat on camera, Jane. I was, maybe I shouldn't have been surprised. Hungry. But I, I couldn't believe uh, just how large of a marketing budget, at least at the game, uh, the avocado growers are. I mean, they're, they're like in the top 10, aren't they? The avocados from Mexico growers are. They're huge, and this is yeah. not their first time in the Super Bowl. It's been a big push, and people say, oh, my gosh, isn't this part of NAFTA? No, it's not. And one reason why Mexico has a, such a large part of this market is partly because demand. There's huge demand here for avocado toast, and labor is so much cheaper south of the border. I'm glad you brought that up, Jane, because I feel like it was only a little over a year ago they were talking about avocado shortages because of those avocado toasts here in the U.S. What happened? Did markets both here in the U.S. and Mexico, everybody just started growing more in response to that, and now it's an overcorrection? Yeah. Well, there part, of it, part of it was weather issues and other things that lead to some sort of the kinds of shortages you have. And, yeah, now you just have the opposite where you have this glut. I mean, honestly, at Kroger owned Ralph's yesterday, our producer found two avocados for a dollar 50 cents an avocado usually they're two bucks per fruit i've never seen anything like that before these things start to you know they go in cycles like that but the bottom line is american growers are being overwhelmed and it's crazy instead of trying to gain more domestic market share they now want to push into china